And welcome back to Show and Tell Thursday. For Show and Tell Thursday, I thought I would show the brand new painting, Three Amigos. Uh, this painting has been <clears throat> in the works for quite a while. Um, I've done this painting or started this painting a number of times and never really finished it. Uh, so I'll kind of go over a little bit of the history of that and also how the painting came to be. Uh, this painting, oops, as I drop it, this painting is five inches by nine inches. It was done on uh, ampersand clay board, which is a one eighth inch thick hard board that's covered with a uh, clay. And um, it was created with all Createx acrylic paints, uh, Wicked Colors, and I uh, used an airbrush and paintbrush with this. So this painting goes back quite a ways. Um, my really great friend Keith Hansen is an amazing custom painter, um, really known for the coolest motorcycle and automotive paint jobs. And uh, we became friends quite a while ago, and I would spend a lot of time at his shop. Um, so a bike had rolled in at one point during the summer, it was in June, and, um, and I had taken a bunch of pictures of it, and uh, Tony, which is another mutual friend of ours, Keith and I um, were standing in front of the bike talking and just basically doing Keith Hansen things, just hanging out, enjoying the weather, and watching Keith work. <laughs> So uh, this paint job was done by Keith. Keith has a great style in which he uses a lot of um, interlocking graphics. He picks colors that you would normally not associate with a you know big tough motorcycle like pink and magenta and things like that, but he just makes it work. Uh, the base coat on this that was this great deep, super deep marble color. Um, he used variegated gold leaf everywhere as well as his signature striping. It was just a it was just a great job. Uh, so we took a bunch of pictures. If you look real close in the reflection, which is where the name of this painting came from, there's me and Keith and our other buddy Tony. And we we're all just kind of standing there checking out the bike. So that's how the title came about. Um, so this painting, I, I, I have this, I've had this photograph on my phone forever. And it had come up a couple times. I did a show with Keith. So for that show, I decided to actually start this very same painting. This is the rough underpainting on, uh, for that same bike. But again, I never finished it. It just ended up in my box and just, just kind of left it there. Um, so fast forward to now, and my buddy uh, Mike in Pueblo, Colorado is a fantastic airbrush artist. And if you get a chance, check out his, I'll put a link for his YouTube channel. Um, he's a great artist, just super dynamic really great guy. So he put me in touch with one of his friends um, at HD Stencils. So the guys at HD Stencils will make these amazingly detailed stencils that you can use to kind of lay out a painting with. And I hopefully you can see that. There it is. So I got a chance to use this stencil to start this painting. And if you watch my Facebook page, I do a live feed every week and I, I started this painting with online so you can actually see that happen. So the guys at HD Stencil supplied me with, with a stencil that kind of got me going on this and then from there I fell in love with the painting again and um, really decided to finish it out, to, to, to go the distance and, and knock out this painting. So that's how it, it all kind of came about. Um, as I said the painting was all done with Createx Wicked Colors. This painting is a bit of a departure as far as the finish for this. Normally um, with with even with the clayboard finishes, I would use a, a, a single stage automotive intercode clear on this, or I had graduated to the Createx UVLS gloss clear, which is a water based UV uh, protective clear, which has worked out great. Actually, I was using the satin, not the gloss. This is just another version of it. Uh, but I graduated to that, and then I started getting into. Um, looking at things that were a little bit more archival, more um, con uh, art conserver friendly, so to speak. So that led me to uh, the comp a company called Golden, which I've used in the past. They make an amazing uh, acrylic based paint, <clears throat> all types of acrylic paints. Uh, one of the other things they do great is they have a, have a number of different finishes. So their technicians are, are top-notch. They're all scientists. They're, they're madmen, but they really know their stuff. So I kind of went to Golden and, and looking for something a little bit more archival. And what I came up with was a two-stage system, essentially, where there's an isolation coat put on first. 
and this isolation coat protects the painting. So now it's sealed in exactly the way I finished it and it'll be that way f for as long as it's taken care of. Uh, and then from there, a varnish is put on top of that. So they have a product that's similar to the, the Createx uh, finish I just showed you and that has UVLS uh, protection. Um, it's a polymer varnish, so it's really, you know, it's a nice strong finish. This has a gloss finish to it and you can see that as I roll across which the acrylic, the Wicked Colors or any acrylic paint really has more of a satiny matte finish, but this gives it that deep gloss finish. And the best part about this is this gloss varnish now, because I have the um, isolation coat, um, later on down the road, if this gets dirty or if it's affected by the environment, they can strip off this gloss varnish and reapply it and it'll look exactly like it's brand new again. So that's the beauty of it. You can't do that unless you have the isolation coat on. This gloss varnish would sink into the paint. Uh, so that isolation coat is the key. But that's the system that I, that I try with this and I was really happy with it. So this is the first painting like that. So that is Three Amigos. I don't know if this will be a print yet. Um, please keep, you know, keep looking at um, both my Facebook page, Instagram, and my website. Um, and if this becomes a print, then um, it'll be there first, so you'll be able to check it out there. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens with this one. Um, it's brand new. I gotta now frame it. Um, this will be in an open frame. It won't have glass in front of it because it has that great polymer finish. So it'll be an open floating frame, uh, probably black, but I gotta work on that too. And uh, that's where we're at. So there we go. So for Show and Tell Thursday, I am Steve Leahy. Thank you so much for coming by. If you're brand new, please hit that like and subscribe. Tell your friends, share it. I'd really appreciate it as we move along and I'll get into some more artwork and come back on Tuesday for another tip or trick. And uh, yeah, love having you guys here. So thanks a lot. Have a great week and I will um, catch you guys on the next one.